Welcome to the Butterfly Effect. I'm Chris Horner, and this is stage three of Perry Nice, the individual time trial. I always hated these stages myself, even when I was capable of winning time trials and putting time on the GC favorites. The stress of getting prepared for today's stage was just always a nightmare. It starts the night before, you gotta wake up early. It's a short stage, only 14K today, but you still have to wake up early so you can preview the course have some breakfast, preview the course, come back, eat again, take a little nap, have a little snack, get into the team bus. Hopefully there's some kind of time separation between you and your other teammates. Sometimes you're in the team bus with 10, eight, nine guys all leaving at the same time. Here at Perry Nice, they have smaller teams than when I was a racer. At times, like 10 guys would be in the bus at the same time. There's no space. It's an absolute nightmare. But for the TT specialists, they're dreaming of this stage. And for today's stage winner, Stefan Bessiger, he has absolutely been motivated from this for weeks before when he was riding good at the UAA Tour. He's come here to try to win this stage. He's not a pure sprinter. He's not a GC guy. He's not a climber. So this is his stage, and he came motivated. The EF Education Swiss rider, 22 years of age, so the young talent is in force again. It seems like every year another young, young, young 20-year-old kid shows up and performs well. At 22, this kid definitely qualifies for young, and he is flying. He'll win today's stage. He'll take the yellow leader's jersey on top of that and the white jersey to boot. So this kid got the whole kit and caboodle on today's stage, and he rode fantastic. EF Education got the yellow jersey at Perry Nice, and they're ready to go. Best thing for the time trialists, too, after they win, the pure time trialists anyways, after they win the TT and they take the yellow jersey, they're not even worried or upset if they're going to lose the jersey the next stage. And the next stage on, on Perry Nice 2021 is going to be an epic one. We're talking over 100 miles with massive climbs and a summit finish. So it's going to be an exciting race tomorrow. Today's stage sets up the picture of what we're going to see for the next few days here at Perry Nice. And right away, when you look at the final classification on today's stage, you see Jumbo Visma with none other than Primoz Roglic in the leader's seat. He doesn't have the leader's jersey on, but he make no mistake about it. He is in the leader's seat when it comes to the GC guys. He has no one that's a real threat other than the American kid. Again, another young rider too. Brandon McNulty. Now, if you're not familiar with him, last year at the Giro, he rode really strong for the first two weeks, came second in a stage, was high up in the top 10 on the GC there for a long time. So a race like Perry Nice should be right in his backyard. That is really what he looks like he is good at right now for those 10-day stage races. He's strong, he can climb, he's fast to the finish, so keep an eye on Brandon McNulty. He could give the Yumbo Visma guys a little bit of a heartache and he might surprise us with a stage win or even get in the yellow jersey if there's any bad luck or those legs just ain't right for Primoz Roglic. Today, not an exciting stage to watch, but absolutely sets the precedent of what we're going to see in the coming stages. And with, remember, with Jumbo Visma, they have Primoz Roglic right now in the driver's seat. He's sitting third, but they also have an 11th, Steven Kreuzwick, which is in another one of their strong riders and which he's in a great position if there is any problem with Primoz Roglic to be able to attack and go up the road and take some pressure off Jumbo Visma on the last climb if Primoz is having any problems. I don't foresee it. We never see Primoz Rogas have problems that often, right? It happened in the time trial of the Tour de France last year. He still finished fifth in that, so it wasn't that bad of a time trial. Just Tadej Pogacar just lit things on fire. So when I'm watching today's race, I'm really just trying to pay attention to see what is going to happen in the future and who's on form and who's not. One thing's for certain, EF Education, Stefan Bessiger, he's on form. Primoz Rogas is on form. And Steven Kreiswick's on form. Look for the American kid, Brandon McNulty. He's riding great, and I'm sure he'll surprise us. Hope you guys like the butterfly effect. It's short today because we got just the time trial. Not a lot to talk about. 
Tomorrow, we're going to have course stage four. It's going to be an epic stage. And then Torino Adriatico starts. And that, my friends, has a host of favorites of GC guys that we're going to be seeing come this July at the Tour de France. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys real soon.